Hi, this is Carrie, and Katie and I played The Sims for years when she was growing up. I'm quite a bit older than her, but I played The Sims too. We loved all of the versions. We played them on our PCs, and then eventually we had to get them on consoles, and for a while I could play The Sims on Facebook, but then that game went away. I don't know. I'm excited to look through the unofficial Sims cookbook, from baked Alaska to silly gummy bear pancakes, 85 recipes to satisfy the hunger need. That's an in-joke for the gamers that play this game. All of your favorite simulated recipes in real life. It is a small little cookbook. Simon & Schuster is the publisher. Taylor O'Halloran is the author. Looks like it came out in 2023. And I'm delighted that my library had this featured recently. So let's check out the chapters. Chapter 1 is breakfast. Chapter 2 is lunch, dinner, sides, desserts, and beverages. And it looks like the pages... Oh, they're not color-coded. Okay, introduction. Have you... Huh, Sewell Sewell, have you ever been playing The Sims and thought, wow, that chef salad looks scrumptious, or I really need to get try ratatouille someday? Then the unofficial Sims cookbook was made for you. Food has been a huge part of The Sims for decades, affecting your Sims' lives in so many ways, from ambrosia saving your Sims from death, to a quick Caesar salad coming to the rescue when your Sims forgot to pay their bills and the land grabs turn off their power. So here's the breakfast chapter. Silly gummy bear pancakes. French toast from The Sims 3 and 4. Fried peanut butter and banana sandwich from The Sims 3. Breakfast scramble from The Sims 4 Outdoor Retreat. Spinach from Tata from Sims 4. And this actually looks edible. The measurements are in American cups and tablespoons and teaspoons. High energy protein plates. Banana pancakes from The Sims 3. Eggs Machiavellian from The Sims 3. Who would have thought that some delicious watermelon would make a perfect complement to your morning eggs? Serves for prep time, cook time. Playing The Sims in The Sims little tip bar down here. Spinach wrapped veggie burritos. I'm now in the lunch chapter. Chef salad from The Sims 2. Fish tacos from The Sims 4. Butter chicken from The Sims 4. Butternut gnocchi, The Sims 4. It's been a while since I played The Sims 4. I forgot they had so much food. Chapter 4 is the sides chapter. Breadsticks from The Sims 4. Get to work! The Sims 4 City Living gave us, gave us Ensemadas. That looks edible. Egg rolls from The Sims 3 World Adventures and The Sims 4 City Living. Prosciutto wrapped asparagus from The Sims 4. I hope this encouraged children to eat vegetables. Cheese eyeballs from The Sims 4 Spooky Day. I did not have that add-on. Ah, I wonder if I can get it now. Now I want to play it. The Samosas from The Sims 4 City Living. Caprese Salad, The Sims 4. Yum. Don't really need a recipe for that one, let's be honest. We all know how to make it, but okay. Chapter 5, Desserts. Flirty Heart Cookies from The Sims 4. Ambrosia from The Sims 3 and 4. Hamburger Cake from The Sims 4. I wasn't expecting to see that. That's cute. Grilled Fruit from The Sims 4. The Famous Baked Alaska from The Sims 2 and The Sims 4. Plum Bob Sugar Cookies from The Sims 4 Get to Work. This is adorable. Key Lime Pie from The Sims 3. Almond Macaroons from The Sims 4 Luxury Party Stuff. I didn't have that add on either. Strawberry Fizzy Cupcakes. That looks adorable. The Sims 4. And Alien Fruit Tarts from The Sims 4 Get to Work. Well, how can you work if the aliens are visiting? Chocolate chip cookies from The Sims 4, Berries Pie, and then finally the beverage chapter. A Simsapolitan from The Sims 4, that looks delicious. And a Granny Smash from The Sims 4. I hope you enjoyed this preview of The Sims Cookbook. We talk about all sorts of other kinds of cookbooks on this channel, not just gamer ones. So give us a subscribe if you'd like to see more cookbook look-throughs. Thanks for watching.